Buddy and Mob means boss mob in Nunga and it is run by Ken. There were 30 of us Nunga students in the project and we learnt about our culture and language. We learnt dance, music, photography and film. We made a song and a video called Jarlin and it's about listening to elders when they tell us about our land and our culture. We wake up in the morning light, blue skies, everything's alright. Sitting around the fire with the fam. Listen to our stories from a distant land. We dance in hard as cool and guys. Kids so jumping, that's who we are. I'm proud of my culture, I'm proud of my colour. Nunga, sister, Nunga. This project was designed for and with this particular group of young people. No. <laughs> they got to work with an amazing team of artists, elders and rangers to learn about both traditional and contemporary Noongar culture. Yeah, who's heard of freestyle? Yes? The first thing we did with Gina and Scotty was make the beats. Excellent. Round of applause. Very good. Very good. This is what I do when I write rhymes. I always go to the top. And then we learnt Noongar. See ya! See ya! And then we wrote Noongar and English for the song. The song is called Jalan, which means listen. And I think the song is about children listening to their elders. Then Connie, T and Rita showed us hip-hop choreography. <laughs> and Matt Sue showed us how to take cool photos. <laughs> the benefit really is the partnerships that are formed between certain students and um, certainly between the boys and the girls as well because of, often they have problems working together and they've been overcome. <laughs> then Ian, Ross and Jade taught us the traditional dance like the Yumbi, the Imi and Kangaroo. I've been teaching a bit of dance but I've also been mixing it up with a bit of language and a bit of theatre sports and you know letting the boys have fun. <laughs> My favourite was dancing. i never done it before. Through traditional events we learn our identity, of who we are, we learn about our country, we learn about yeah, our history I suppose as a, as a people. Then we went out to Dryandra, Yilimini and Yananin to shoot the music video with Matsu, Poppy, Rita and Ian. We got to dance, hang out with our mates. I saw the boys in the bush dance and it really moved me. It's made everything come alive. You know, the old people were there again dancing through the boys. This project makes me want to do more traditional dancing. Yeah, it was the first time I ever danced in front of a crowd. And we got to make tools with Uncle Bogey and Aunt Megan. All the rangers taught us to make the fire, codgers and the bookers. I like learning about codgers because this is what we're on, like the land and we've got to learn about the history and all that. The last thing we did was launch a video at Mackey Park. I've seen from the past projects how proud they actually are when the finished product is shown. We've got Steph and Shakira. Can you give them a massive round of applause? Yeah. Welcome to our music Tonight is the night as Aboriginal students show our talent that we use to make our music. <laughs> atmosphere in Narragin now, it's buzzing. You can, the, you can feel the atmosphere just buzzing, so it's really good. Hello, hello, 
your kaya One of these nights to take you higher When we sit and warm by the fire Sharing yarns in the Maya Maya A group of teenagers in the States we felt are using modern music to learn and share their cultural heritage. The Bridia Mob's new song is all about the importance of listening to the wisdom of their elders. <laughs> Jalan when the spirits talk, Jalan when the elders talk, Jalan when my mob talk, listen, 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 listen. When I found out it was on Triple J, I was actually quite impressed. For any uh, young fella uh, culturally that hears that and to be proud of it, you're, you're looking at this massive mushroom cloud effect. Listen, 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 listen. I feel very, very proud to be a part of something like this. So, seen the video and wow, man, like I'm amazed. I had like goosebumps and everything. You can see the smiles on people's faces. You can see the pride. They did it all themselves. No one, no one else came in and did it for them. So that was a big boost for their confidence, and that's where the shame left them. Oh my God, something amazing! It's shown them they can do something that people can be impressed with. Yes. Every Noongar anywhere should be quite proud of what we've done here tonight. Jalan when the spirits talk, Jalan when the elders talk, Jalan when my mob talk. Listen, 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 listen.